Hi, everyone. This is Kazami again. Right now, we're here with Jonathan. Jonathan, tell us a little bit about your project. Yeah, sure. So um, basically, what I've built is a website that allows people to find um, other people who are, have internships during the summer or even co-ops during the spring and fall um, that let them uh, room together uh, based on like a bunch of preferences they specify in the website. So basically, you register for an account. Um, then uh, the home page just so shows you the profiles you've saved in the past. But let's say this was your first time. You go to update info, just specify a lot of information relevant to um, the kind of roommates you'd be looking for. So, for example, you'd put, like, I like to keep my room messy. Um, once you've filled out all that, you can search for other profiles. Um, and since we don't have too many right now, I'm just going to show all of them. Uh, I see a bunch of uh, profiles from just all around the country, but you could search by location or name. Um, you see one you like, you can find out more, save it to your home page, and then once you've done that, you can um, contact them. Did I actually save it? Well, anyways. But yeah, basically, um, yeah, it shows you the list of people you saved, and you can contact them in the future. Yeah. What, uh, what inspired you to make this? Is this something that like, you've had a problem with in previous summers, or that you like, envision seeing in future summers? Um, so I guess it's like not so much uh, something I've had in the past, because I've been lucky enough to have internships like where I already live. Yeah. But it's something I foresee happening in the future because I am moving somewhere else this summer. So um, yeah, definitely like looking for uh, roommates and thought this might be a great tool for people like me and even me to find roommates for the summer. Yeah. What was the most difficult uh, part to like integrate into into your website? Uh, I think like a lot of it was actually based off the P set eight. Um, but what I found difficult was that a lot of the um, functions in there, whenever there was like an error it would just redirect you to an apology page. So what I tried to do was really add a lot of JavaScript code so that all that check, all those checks would be done in the website without having to like send you to an error page. It would just like pop up in a little alert or something like that. Do you, do you have an example of that right now? I'm always fascinated by these JavaScript error messages. Yeah, sure. So um, I think there's one for search. So if we submit with no, well, actually no doubt is a completely valid way. So let's log out um, and register. And let's submit with like no data. We're going to get an alert that just says one of the fields is blank. Right. Um, I didn't have time to add sort of like a more visually, uh, like a better way of showing it with just like a red uh, line of text there. But I think this just is a lot more convenient for the user than getting redirected to load another page that says, oh, you committed an error. So That's pretty nifty. Can I, like, can I just like demo it out and like try yeah, adding? OK. So my name is David oh, Caps Lock. My name is David Malin. Uh, and so the JavaScript will also make sure like your password and confirmation password are the same, the email and confirmation email address are the same, stuff like that. Typing with one hand is not as fast as it seems. <laughs> So I think this is actually going to be a great example where oh, email didn't match. Did not match. CS50.edit did not like that. Oh, wow. OK, I'm in city A <laughs> this summer, the spring. This is great that there are so many options and that there are so many different ways to pair up with different people. Yeah, and the good thing is I, uh, they're not all required. So okay. uh, you don't have to go through all oh, of them for the purposes. Great. <laughs> But yeah, just David to, definitely keeps his room messy, plays <laughs> loud CS50 music, and goes to bed real late. <laughs> and yeah, so if you go to my profile, you can now see David's profile. That is that is exactly David lives in, in the city of A. This look, yeah, this looks this looks really great, and and like everything that was there is, is everything that I input. Thank you so much, Jonathan. This looks yeah, this looks really great. All right, this is Kazemi. And this is CS50.